I'm not impressed with Bride Sanaki. I really expected so much more, but what does she offer you and why does she fall flat? Let's talk about it. First, let's get her digits a nice attack, nice resistance, just like her normal infantry counterpart. Uh, but this flying green tome has some problems that are going to be coming up. The uh, nice thing about this, though, is, is that your speed is not completely abysmal. It could be buffed so you can actually tank uh, resistance-wise, or you can go ahead and go into other units that have a good resist, uh, have a good uh, magical attack so that you can actually stand and deliver. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what she sl swings with. Um, the Nil Flowers, those are great. <laughs> this is wonderful. This is exactly what Owl Tome should have been. Uh, I know this is technically a legendary weapon uh, because of the way that uh, it's set up. If the other Owl Tomes get this kind of thing, then honestly I will be so on board with Owl Tomes. But as it stands right now, uh, this the fact that this thing gives you a range of two for getting all your allies you have no excuse ever to not have two people buffing her and you really need to have two people buffing her uh, to go along with everything she has drawback which is a nice assist skill good to have on uh, mages but the thing is she's a flyer so you might as well just reposition and you know, put in there right now um, her a slot is the much sought after attack and resistance bond Oh wait, it's attack at speed one that's much sought after. Never mind, I'm sorry. Uh, attack and resistance does has, have its place, and it works out really well on her because once again, you're going to be having people near her anyway. Having one person adjacent gives her the much needed attack buff she has and ensures that her resistance is even higher so that she'll be able to withstand fight after fight at this point in time. Uh, and then taking a look at the rest of her kit, she has the introduction of a really, really unique uh, B slot, and it's something that I wish there was more room for. I'm going to talk just a moment about this. So, her B slot skill is defense and resistance link. If she gets repositioned or swapped, or if she does swap or reposition or draw back, something like that, she and her buddy get plus six to all of her defenses. That is wonderful. That is a great skill, and it belongs on somebody who's not as frail as Sanaki. <laughs> that is the biggest problem with Sanaki. She is so darn frail, guys. And you could go ahead and stack all kinds of buffs on her. Like, you can get all the goads on her and all this other stuff, but she still just can't take a hit. Uh, the poor girl. I mean, she's only 10 years old. I mean, how do you expect a 10-year-old to continue to fly a horse in the sky? You don't, okay? <laughs> Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what station in life you have. You're gonna get knocked off that horse really darn easily. Uh, and she does, which is unfortunate because she has so much other potential in other ways, and it is so hard to buff that out. Now, having said that, her attack and force speed get really scary once you start stacking all of this stuff on top of everything. I mean, you start talking about the assist. You start talking about. Uh, her uh, bond skill, you talk about her uh, flowers that she's holding, and you're talking about support. Between all of that, she's a beast, but she can't take a hit, so it almost doesn't matter, which is sort of sad. Let's go ahead and go into the first build, a budget build as usual. Uh, just a couple quick things, we're just fleshing things out. First of all, we're going to go ahead, we should get quick reposition in there, you have no reason having drawback. Uh, on a flying unit. The only thing that's nice about drawback in this case is it buffs whoever is left in front there. But otherwise, no, reposition. If, especially if you're in a flyer team, reposition all day long. And if you're in a flyer team, you might as well go ahead and give her a go. She's going to be near a lot of other people anyway, uh, so that she can get buffs. She might as well be ensuring that everybody else gets a buff as well. Uh, and then, you know what? You could go ahead and throw in a nice. Uh, uh, special in here and I'm just recommending Glimmer she's not gonna get the mileage uh, that she needs out of uh, Draconic Aura she just does it uh, not without outrageous amount of buffs so don't worry about that especially for a budget build just put Glimmer on there it's gonna be absolutely fine so let's go ahead and talk about complete builds for Sanaki uh, and looking at the speed and at the attack you're like great this is the new best uh, blade tome in the sky it is not. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at this build here. And you know what? Let's, um, I'm not even going to show you her obituaries with this, but I did look 
at her kills with the DPT. Double Trans PvP Threats. Links are down in the doobly doo to be able to import this list that I use in my videos on all the different combat simulators that are out there. And so that way you'll be able to see what I see. What's going on here, though, is, is that she has good matchups using this build that you see here and other variations of it, but build for build, buff for buff, she's not as good as Spring Camilla in the air as far as being a Blade Tome goes, which is funny because a lot of people are like, oh, she's not a good Blade Tome user, you need to put Raven Tome on her. Spring Camilla is still a better Blade Tome in the sky than Sanaki is. Why is that? It's because she can't take a hit. Like I said, buff for buff, skill for skill, she's just not as good as what we've already got. And technically, I mean, if you're sort of late to this, or you're just now getting into this, or this is your first opportunity, she makes a decent blade tome. It's not terrible. But honestly, I would just keep her original kit. And here's the other thing is, is that I'm not even going to bother to show the kit. Uh, I take, took a look at what she would look like with uh, Keen uh, uh, Wolf Tomes. And she does well against all the horsies. But you know what? Her flowers are amazing. Uh, <laughs> that extended owl tome buff that's on them, you can't beat that. That and the fact that she gets a bonus uh, attack from this. There's no beating that. So just go ahead and keep that. Let's go ahead and talk about this last build here. Go ahead and keep the Niffle Flowers. Go ahead and give her Swift Sparrow. Give her a chill attack. And you know, if her, you know, the C slot doesn't matter so much. There's a lot of good stuff that you could put in there. I mean, you you could do a Guidance, which I would recommend, or you could do that as the Seal. You could do a, a Spur. Or you could do. There's a lot of different things. I'm not gonna. You have a lot of uh, variety here, and you could do something really powerful. <laughs> go on the train here, and you could go ahead and give her, uh, like, odd attack wave if you want to. And she's going to be getting buffed plenty enough. It's The attack is not the problem. The speed is not the problem. Although enhancing the speed like this with Swiss Sparrow is really nice. Let's go ahead and go with the obituaries here, taking a look at the DPT. And you can see here, these are some good marks, and there's a lot of good kills it's not it's not useless and as long as she's on the par she's making some of the kills she needs to I mean she's out there she has enough speed to be able to double people like Rima and Harden and everybody else she she could get to that speed uh, and she's tanking them all just <clears throat> down they go the uh, problem is anytime you talk, start fighting with somebody that can retaliate and you know what the the armors are easy things Nobody has a good resistance on armor. But once you start uh, picking on people like that, it's just <sighs> the retaliation she can't handle. So <laughs> even with buff support, she just isn't going to handle it. Now, you could go ahead and go extreme, and I don't recommend that because, honestly, at that point in time, she is a nice little flying wall, but she's not going to kill anything. So, yeah, you could do double distant defense, and you could go ahead and do all kinds of crazy things. I think she would be good with a serpent tome, to be quite frank with you if Green Serpent Tomes were a thing at the time of recording this video. Maybe if you're watching this because of a legendary banner in the future, maybe there's a Green Serpent Tome. Sorry, I couldn't do the math for you. Check it out. Maybe it's going to be good. Otherwise, when it comes down to it, I'm disappointed that Sanaki can't stand and deliver the way that she needs to. She has this wonderful support network built in, but she's not making good use of it. And it's just so disappointing because it seemed like a neat character, it seemed like an okay tome, and her B slot is amazing. But at this point, I have to be honest with you, it's best for fodder. Find a nice heavy tank that is going to want to reposition or swap somebody out of the harm's way and then take a hit. I mean, heck, give that to give it to Drog uh, with uh, that safeguard sword. <laughs> Nothing's going to get through him. Nothing. Okay? That's the best use for Sanaki. I am very sorry if that upsets you. So let me know down in the comments if I made you mad, if I opened your eyes, or did I tell you something that you were hoping wasn't true? Please let me know. I'd like to have a conversation around her. Uh, and I'd like to be proven wrong. If you're sitting there going, no, that she's a beast, please uh, come on down in the comments. Let's have a conversation and do me another favor if you'd like your Fire Emblem information hot and fresh, like Grandma's Cookies. Hit that subscribe button. My name is Deltran. Thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate all of you. And until next time, take it easy.